back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today we're talking about how to do that bluesy country shuffle in any key. So many of you may already know how to play a shuffle in an open position. Um, droning the A string for example and playing the very top of our A major chord we can do an A shuffle. Uh, so this is the first shuffle that I ever learned. It's the most basic kind of shuffle going back and forth between the second and fourth frets. If you don't know that already I just have my first finger here on the second fret press it nice and hard, and I have this little melody going on the D string. Two and four, and two and four, and I'm also playing my A string. On top of that, I'm also using a palm mute technique. My palm's right over here on the pins, making sure not to be too far forward. I got the pins underneath my hand, and I got a nice, muted, bluesy shuffle pattern. So what I'm going to show you today is how to take that out of the open position and use a power chord to create the same effect. So to do that, we're going to take our first finger, put it on the fifth fret of the E string. All right, that's the same note that we had here. Next, I have my third finger on the seventh fret of the A string. So now what I have is that A power chord. In my last lesson, I talked about how power chords are just harmonies between the first and the fifth. One, two, three, four, five notes of the major scale. So we have an A power chord. I can get that same rhythm going. All right, notice the hand pumping, making those notes nice and short. Now, here we go. I need to get that shuffle going. So I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm gonna stretch it over to the ninth fret of the A string. So I have one and pinky comes over, two and back. So now we got the shuffle going. I'm gonna put a little bit of rhythm to it. Here we go. Swinging, real bluesy, pumping the hand so that way I can make those notes nice and short and danceable. All right, after maybe 16 beats or something like that, if you're doing a standard 12 bar blues, we would go and take the whole operation down one string to achieve the four chord. All right, this would be a D power chord. Same exact thing, just down one string. So I got my A and my D strings, fifth fret, seventh fret. Palm mute in a way, keeping the pump going. And I got my shuffle pattern in the key of D. I'll go back to the A chord, why not? Let's go through a whole 12 bar blues. All right, then I would go up the L shape, people call it. It's the uh, typical shape of power chords to achieve a blues progression. Okay, using power chords. So I'm gonna go up here now to the ninth fret, I'm sorry, seventh fret and ninth fret D string. So this is an E power chord, my five chord in the progression. So I have. And I'll go back home. There's lots of different ways you can slice it up, but this is a typical 12 bar blues similar to what you would hear in a song like Johnny Be Good. So we have. Shuffling on the A chord. Okay, so once I have that progression down and I'm, I'm doing my shuffle on all three of those chords, I can try playing it in different keys. To do that, I simply just move it to a different fret and just kind of keep everything equal, okay? So for example, if I go to my G chord, that's my third fret, low E string, I had the same thing, but now I'm shuffling down a little bit lower, a little bit more bluesy, a little thick, all right, so that's the G chord. I just bring it down one string, okay? Same thing as we did in the key of A, but now key of G. I go down to the C chord, power chord, here we go. And back home. Practice this in all different keys. And that's a very simple version of a 12 bar blues, just going one, four, one, five, and back home again. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to play a shuffle pattern in any key out of the open position. 
My name is Rob from Swift Guitar Lessons, and I have plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back and please subscribe. Thanks so much, and happy picking.